The angle of the vectors can be easily found out by following the simple formula. Here we have been asked to find angle and the between the two vectors and the component form of the vectors are given. Whenever we see like this, they are the component forms. Uh, the formula is just this. Cos theta is equal to u dot product v divided by the magnitude of u multiplied with the magnitude of v. So what this means is very simple. You need to find the dot product. I hope you remember the dot product. Dot product is very simple. The x component multiplies with the x component plus this multiplied with this. The y with the y component. But the magnitude again is given by the formula square root of both the uh, components. That is x square plus y square. That's it. That's basically if you have the component form, it's very simple. So now all you need to do is multiply the first uh, term. 6 times minus 4 is minus 24 plus 2 times 3 is 6 divided by. Now we, if you're wondering how this came, it is just by square root of 6 square plus 2 square. And sorry. And that is now over here. You get the more simplified form. I, I hope you I hope you understand that this over here root 40 can be written as 4 into 10. You know, 4 into 10. And then 4 can be taken out. Square root, it comes out of the square root as 2, and remaining is with 10. However, whichever is simpler, because 6 squared is 36 plus 2 squared is 4, and you will get square root 40. You can keep it as it is, or you can simplify. And over here also, it is 4 squared 16 plus 9 is 25, so square root 25. And uh, now all you need to do is solve it up. Now, before solving, you need to find theta, that is the angle, not cos, cos theta. So cos goes to the other side, so it becomes cos inverse. Just remember to take cos inverse of all these values. That is negative 24 plus 6 divided by square root 40 plus square root 25. Just close the brackets. And sorry, there is some error which I have done. I have added it. I'm so sorry. It's multiplying. Now you'll get the answer. So, you know, if you add it up, it will go beyond the range of uh, cos cos inverse so that's why i got an error but as you need to put multiply don't do this mistake in exam which i just now did you'll get the answer as 125.6 and that's 125.124.7 degrees and that's the correct answer so it is very very easy uh, this is the answer that's it the theta is what you need to solve so the angle between them now in the component form you get an idea where the vector is so 6 over here and y is 2. So this is where the vector is. And then other vector is in the negative quadrant, I mean the second quadrant. And the angle between them is basically almost 125 degrees. Similarly, you can solve more problems. Only this formula must be remembered. And then everything directly in the calculator. I mean, you need to substitute the formula and do it directly. So it is very simple. You can uh, solve all these problems and check check out your answers. These are very, very straightforward.